This is Women in Revival podcast. For the past three days, we have been looking at a series called Women, Give Me to Drink. Today, our topic is Give Me to Drink. Do you know that God wants to drink from your life? He wants to drink from your children's life. He wants to drink from your husband's life. This is the season for God to drink from you. Deborah Shinobi will now take us further on this subject. In the last session, we discussed on the topic ripe for harvest. That your life is a field, your home is a field that is ripe now for harvest. Today we will be looking at give me to drink. And I'm reading from John chapter 4, verse 7. Our Lord God, we thank you for the interest that you have in us as women. As we go into your word, let your word bring light and understanding to everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. John chapter 4 verse 7 says, There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. In the last couple of series, we saw God saying, I delight in her. We saw God saying to us that, Look, I do not move by numbers. I am interested in an individual. And we saw God saying to us that Jesus left all the multitudes, those who were coming for baptism, and left for Galilee, and there was a need for him to go through Samaria. And now he is now in Samaria. And while he was here in Samaria, the Bible says, there cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. If you go to the book of Luke chapter 9, I think verse 52, the scripture spoke of Jesus going to a village in Samaria. They denied him access that, look, go, we don't want you in our village. So Jesus knew that Samaria was one of the places he needs to take before he goes to the cross. Before he will go to the cross, Samaria has to be captured. But when he came, the men denied him access. And now again, he returned back to Samaria. And this time, he met with a woman. And when he met this woman, he said to her, Give me to drink. This woman came to the well to draw water. And Jesus met with her. And Jesus said, Give me to drink. Give me some water to drink. Do you know that the Lord wants to drink of your life? What type of water would you give him to drink? What type of spring is your life? You know, there is a scripture in, I think, Exodus chapter 15 that spoke of the water of Mara when the people journeyed, the Israelites journeyed for three days without water. You know, when they got to this place, there was excitement in their heart. They would have been happy to find water. But the moment they took of that water to drink, it was bitter. They could not drink. What type of water could your life be? Are you bitter water? Are you sour water? Are you sweet water that Jesus can drink from? Jesus said to this woman, give me to drink. What a wonderful request. Give me water to drink. Give me your challenges to drink. Give me your life situation to drink. Give me your lifestyle to drink. Some of you, you are bombarded with a lifestyle of addiction. You are under, you know, a core addiction drug addiction, tobacco addiction. And Jesus is saying, give me that addiction to drink. This is why I went all the way to Calvary. This was the reason why I went to the cross in order to drink this lifestyle that you are in. Give me to drink was Jesus' request to this woman. In Genesis also, chapter 24, verses 17 to 18. The Bible also told us of another woman whom a man asked of, give me to drink. You know, the servant of Abraham. When Abraham asked him to go and get a wife for his son Isaac, why Abraham's servant got to the place, Abraham's servant met with Rebekah. And he asked Rebekah, the moment he saw Rebekah, let me read Genesis 24, verses 17 and 18. And the servant ran to meet her and said, 
Let me drink, I pray thee, a little water of thy pitcher. And she said, Drink, my lord. And she hasted and let down her pitcher upon her hand and gave him drink. So when the servant of Abraham, Eliezer, when he got to this place, when he met with even Rebekah, he ran to Rebekah. Rebekah was a woman he never knew. He has never met Rebekah before. So meeting Rebekah here, he said to her, give me to drink. I don't want to go to the details of how this happened. You can go through it in the book of Genesis chapter 24. So this servant said to Rebekah, give me to drink. Give me a little water of your pitcher. Give me a little water from your jar. Christ wants to drink water from your jar, from your life, from your vessel, from your jar of clay. Yes, women are called the weaker vessel. Yet he's saying, I want to drink from your life. Just as this servant also made the request of Rebecca. And Rebecca said to him, drink my Lord. I am hoping and trusting that in the course of this series, your response to the master, your response to Jesus would be, drink my Lord. Drink this year of depression. Drink these years of addiction. Drink these years of struggles that I've had. Drink these years of my sinful habits. Drink it, Lord. If you are making this request, I will not deny you. Drink, Lord. Woman, Jesus is standing before you this afternoon. He's knocking at the door of your heart and he's saying, give me to drink. Give me that tobacco to drink. Give me that alcoholic lifestyle to drink. Give me that clinical depression to drink. Give me that sinful lifestyle to drink. Give me that difficult child to drink. Give me that turbulence in your marriage to drink. Give me to drink. Would you allow him to drink? Or would you deny him to drink? For he himself drank your iniquity, even on the cross of Calvary. God made him who knew no sin to be sin for you, so that you in turn can become the righteousness of God, even in Christ Jesus. Give him to drink. Amen.